Hello everybody, this is the Mothership here, and today I'm bringing you some fun new updates, including your boy Mothership and Hofster got accepted to the DECA Partnership Program. That means you guys are going to get a ton of new information, including updates, maybe testing stuff, and some other fun things that I can't tell you about yet, but DECA will let you know soon. Anyway, you're going to want to follow this, so make sure you're subscribed if you're not already, and check the videos in the coming weeks, because there's a lot of new stuff and DECA wants the community to know about it through us. As for this update, Realm's getting a new Bard class, so this is going to be our 16th class, with the new update coming out on May 20th. I wanted to make sure you guys were all in the loop before this comes out. We still have a little while to wait before Oryx 3 is here, but that should be coming soon after as well. So the Bard, it's a bow wielding and robe wearing support class, and the footage you see on your screen is actually just two huntresses in a trench coat, but the Bard itself has the special loot ability. Not loot like loot drop or like the elusive quats and jugs that I'm not getting this week, but like the tiny little stumpy guitar looking instrument thing. Anyway, as a support class, your job is to make yourself and other players harder to kill, kind of like what the priest does. But with the loot, you increase the range of your and other players' weapons. This allows you to take down enemies from farther away, and it's called the Inspired Effect, which lasts for 3 to 6 seconds for the tiered loots. Now the untiered loots are really cool, and I'm sure like ST stuff is going to be awesome for this. They're very unique items, and I think it draws a lot of inspiration from D&D and the sort of special spells that you can cast with your musical instruments. I'll get to those at the uh, end of the video here, but I want to make sure I cover just the basics of the bard first. So at tier 3 and above, your loot will also give you and only you defense, which I think is going to be very useful seeing as you're a robe class and those are notoriously easy to kill. And past tier 3, you also get some speed, so like the tier 3 one gives you 1 speed, uh, and as you get up into like, you know, tier 6, you end up getting 4 speed, 20 HP, and 20 MP, so that's a little bit of help. And also, when you're up at that tier 6 level, you get a total of 10 defense when you use the item for 4 seconds, so that's really nice for keeping you alive as a squishy robe class. So you can kind of see how, even though you're using a bow, when you have a robot, you're kind of a wizard because you're boosting your range by 1.25x. So you're like a wizard that has more shots. So you can imagine something like a doom bow would be really cool with this bard class, where you're able to just cross map snipe something for, you know, 1200 damage or something like that. Anyway, the first UT set here that they're showing us is the Snake Charmer Pun... I'm going to look this one up. One second. Punji. 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 The Snake Charmer Punji is basically the rushing item, and it gives you speedy for four seconds and a plus seven speed on equip. It does give you 8 defense as well when you use it for 2.5 seconds, but it's sort of just a speedy quick item for when you need to get something quickly. It drops in the snake pit, you can go hunt it down, it's actually a white bag drop, so definitely check this one out. The Wavecrest Concertina is a very offensive musical instrument for the bard. So this gives you bonuses to your attack, your dexterity, it still inspires, and it summons little parrots, which is awesome and they will fight for you. And when you're shooting, you can actually summon a parrot with a 5% chance every time you shoot your normal weapon. So using high DPS weapons with the concertina is going to be a great way to just summon a bunch of little tiny bird dudes and send them at your enemy. I'm looking forward to getting this one in particular just because it seems really cool. And I can't wait to see the sprites for the parrots because I just sort of want my own little army here. It also seems that Decca knows that getting a white bag from Nut absolutely sucks, and they said it doesn't have to suck anymore because the Pharaoh's Requiem drops from Nut as a white bag, and that item is sort of a jug slash, you know, safety mechanism, where when you take 50 damage, you get armored on yourself, and has a 15 second cooldown, you get armored on yourself for 3 seconds, and the enemies within 
five squares of you are weakened for five seconds. So that's a really good way to stay alive, especially if you're, you know, rushing through something really quickly. You can take a little bit of damage and like run through maybe a beam in the shatters or something at first boss, things like that. I can see this being super useful. It also gives you defense and vit, but this is definitely a more defensive item. Decca also says that no ST sets are coming out for the Bard right away, but we can look forward to seeing those soon in the future, and Hofstra and I will try to cover those as soon as we can get them, so stay tuned and make sure you're subscribed. That brings us to the end of this video. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. If you disliked, make sure you leave a dislike and you tell us why in the comments, because we want to improve and make this content better for you, especially now that we're partnered content creators with Decca. And I just want to say thank you so much to everybody who has been watching and subscribed for the last... We've been making Realm videos for like seven years now. So for the last seven years, thank you to everybody who's been here. We really couldn't have done this without you. And we're excited to keep bringing you new stuff this summer and into the future. Catch you in the next one.